thanks for watching this video. This is Lee Selig with Main Street Meats and Farmingdale Meat Market. You probably have been to MainStreetMeats.com, our home on the internet. One of the most popular cuts of meat is the ribeye, otherwise known as the prime rib. We wanted to create a video to show how a primal cut of meat can be broken down into many different options. So this video is gonna show how a 103 prime rib could be broken down into a French long bone rib steak. It could be broken down into an export rib, a 109. It could also be taken all the way down and the rib cap meat could even be separated if the meat is taken apart in a certain way. So here we're looking at a 103. This is the primal 103. This particular piece of meat has been aged for about 14 days. Next up, we're gonna look at the 107 rib. The 107 rib is very similar to the 103, except the rib bones have been cut shorter. Next up is the 109 rib. People like to refer to this as an oven ready rib. People also commonly do just call it a 109 and it's very easily recognizable by the string or the netting on it. And you can see how the rib cap meat has been taken out but the fat has been tied back on top for roasting. And this piece of meat is pretty much ready to go. Put it right in the oven, which is why it's called an oven ready rib. So after our 109 in our progression here, we see an export rib. An export rib is when all the netting and the string is removed. And it's basically at this point, just a bone in ribeye. This is one of the last steps before you get to just your boneless ribeye. To get to the export rib, you have to remove the feather bone from the 109 and that is the export rib. To fabricate a boneless ribeye from our export rib, there really are two ways you can do it. You can scoop the bones is one way to do it. And when you scoop the bones, you generate a, a rack of beef back ribs, or you can take the bones out individually. For the purposes of this video, we will scoop the bones just to show you a rack of beef back ribs. Now we see the beef back ribs and the boneless ribeye side by side. Moments ago, that was the export rib. Now it's a rack of beef back ribs and a boneless ribeye. The boneless ribeye can even be taken down further to a ribeye roll, which is just the center muscle, or just like a ribeye chateau roast. This piece of meat that we've cryovac'd here, depending on your lingo, could have many different names. We could refer to it as a ribeye chateau roast. It's the central muscle of the ribeye that has been completely deboned and tied for a roast. It's a single muscle rib roast. It's one muscle. And then also right next to it, we see the rib cap, which is also an extremely flavorful, very decadent piece of meat. Both of these cuts are also very expensive to generate on their own because of all the labor involved. And going from a piece of meat that weighs 45 pounds you end up yielding something that's two to four pounds. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Lee Selig with Farmingdale Meat Market and Main Street Wholesale Meats. We invite you down to 210 Main Street in downtown Farmingdale, right in the heart of Long Island, uh, just a short drive away from Manhattan and uh, really central to all of Nassau County.